Uh, Masumeb was the, one of the most brilliant person I've ever seen in my life. She was full of energy, full of life. She was symbol of life for me. She didn't even want to sleep because she said uh, life is short already, but I didn't know the life is going to be too short for her. Ukrainian International Airlines flight PS752 was shot down by Iranian forces on January 8, 2020, killing all 170 76 passengers on board, many of which were Canadian citizens and permanent residents. Mohammed Aminia's fiance, Masume Gavi, was one of them, and he's demanding justice. We cannot stay calm because we see the darkness after uh, losing a loved one. And we don't want to, that to happen to other person. 31-year-old Gavi was returning to Halifax after completing her first semester at Dalhousie University and was accompanied by her 19-year-old sister. She was a, a whole career in front of her. She always told me, I want to finish my university and go to work for Google. And she has a lot of visions, hopes in her life. Protesters have been staging a sit-in in front of IKO's head office in downtown Montreal since Thursday, criticizing the international organization for handing the investigation over to the same government responsible for shooting down the plane. We decided uh, to be here to put the pressure on this organization, also on the government, to uh, be our voice. Abu Zar Beheshti was among close to 30 others that camped out overnight at the IKO headquarters. The community is angry, the community is sad, the community is motivated as well. We believe that if we gain some success through the process of justice, on this case, we will be closer to a victory. In a statement to City News, IKO says it welcomes peaceful activism in the pursuit of social justice but that it would not comment on individual states' diplomatic positions and outcomes, and adds that it's inaccurate to suggest IKO handed off responsibility to conduct an investigation into this incident. They say the agency must be instructed by countries to conduct investigations of any nature, and that all countries are sovereign and do not need to accept to be investigated by any external party unless they agree to be. We live in Canada. We believe that, okay, if we cannot achieve, we cannot gain the justice in Iran, but here in Canada, they will help us, the government will help us, but this didn't happen. In Montreal, Sasha Thiemann, City News.